today I am cooking with the air fryer and I am going to be making potato stacks. So these look really interesting, really fun, so hopefully they'll be really tasty. Uh, so first of all we need to slice up some potatoes, so let's have a look and see. How okay, so I have got a bowl with some cold water in it and I'm going to be using my mandolin. Um, this is on a medium setting, um, I'm not sure about other mandolins, um, but if you're going to do it with a knife, make sure you've got a really sharp knife and you want to cut the potatoes into 3mm rounds. So try and always use the uh, protective guard when you're using the mandolin. I really can't get on with them so I'm just got to make sure I don't catch my fingers. So you just slice the potatoes And we are, we're going to be doing 600 grams of potatoes. So there they are. That's about three mils. So once you've done all of the potatoes, leave them in the water for about 15 minutes. Okay, so once the potatoes have been soaking for at least 15 minutes, we're going to drain the water out. Okay, once the potatoes are drained, we're going to take a tea towel. You can use paper towels, but you might need quite a few of them, so it's uh, best to, to use the tea towel. Layer the potatoes out, and we're going to dry them. As dry as you can means that we'll make it as crispy as we can. You might need to do this in batches. Once they're dry, you want to transfer them into another bowl. And once all the potatoes have been dried, we're going to add three tablespoons of garlic infused oil. And then just going to toss the potatoes in the oil, make sure you get them all coated. Okay, and then for the herbs and spices, we have got a teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of oregano, and teaspoon of rosemary. So we're going to sprinkle that in. And then we've also got a pinch of salt and pepper. Get that in. And then again, we're just going to toss this in, getting as much of the potatoes coated as possible. Okay, once that's done, you're going to start stacking them. Um, the recipe doesn't say how high to stack them, so I'm just going to take out some potatoes, just layer them one on top of the other. Okay. 
there we go I think that's a good enough stack and then you want to take a cocktail stick and stick it right in the middle all the way through all the potatoes to keep them all together and then to go in the air fryer I have that bottom one on there there we go so I have lined it with foil um, but gone over the top so that we're going to be able to fold the foil back in on itself once we've got the stacks in and put the first one in I don't think we're going to fit all of them in in one go but we'll do a few and see how it turns out okay so I've managed about four stacks um, I did them a little bit bigger than I first did so they're about five centimeters high so once they're done we're going to fold the foil over this is to stop them from um, burning before they're cooked so that is going to go in the air fryer at 180 degrees for 15 minutes okay so after 15 minutes we're going to peel back the foil it might even be easier just to to cut the excess off And then we're going to go back in for another 15 minutes and hopefully they should be brown and crispy and ready to try. Okay, let's have a look then. Oh, they do look crispy. Wow. Okay, let's get these out and onto a plate. Some of the potatoes have been left behind, but there we go. So I'm going to let these cool down for a minute and then we'll give it a try. Okay, let's give this a try then. Hmm. Mm. they taste good some of the potatoes are a little bit hard so it might need cooking longer in the foil before we remove the foil also I think I use a mandolin that I don't really like and I slice them lengthways I think if we'd done them like the short way they would have been a bit smaller could have fit more in they might have cooked better but they definitely taste good um, yeah I think they just need a little bit of work but definitely give them a go so that's it from me keep experimenting have fun and i'll see you next time bye